All right, we're back with the turbocharged Honda 400EX. As you guys know, last video, this thing uh, blew up, we tore it down, and we found out that the piston rings were stuck and it was scoring on the cylinder. So we honed up the cylinder, it wasn't horrible. We honed it out and uh, now it's good to go. So we're gonna rebuild this thing and then we're gonna get the turbo um, all situated with a better uh, format here. So we're gonna be putting the oil intake on the up side of the turbo and then the oil line going out, we're going to put at the bottom of the turbo, so gravity feeds. And then we're going to redo the piping. We're gonna redo all these wells, redo all the piping. And then we are going to add, um, let's see here. We've got the needle for the carburetor that was bent from before. Then here is a fuel regulator right here. As you can see, it's meant for turbos. So this thing goes up to like 35 PSI. We're not gonna need that much, but basically what happens is inlet for the gas, outlet for the gas, and then you hook this up to boost right here. And then that kind of controls how much fuel is let into the carburetor based on boost. So it kind of mocks boost. And then you can control it by this thing right here, how much PSI you want to start out with and all that fun stuff. So we'll set that up. And then we got a new fuel pump as well. This thing's rated for, I believe, 10 PSI. So we're not gonna go over 10 PSI anyway. We're gonna get this turbo set up to where we don't make more than 10 pounds of boost, but we did get a new fuel pump as well. So we've got a couple new parts to uh, test out here and we'll see what happens. But we're gonna rebuild this thing quick, um, get it all slapped back together. This is pretty easy, all the valves look good. Um, on the head, so we don't have to mess with those at all. And then what we might do is just uh, make the piston rings a little bit bigger, that gap, because you're supposed to gap the rings a little bit bigger with a turbo. And then with the spark plug, you want to gap the spark plug gap a little bit smaller. So let's uh, get this whole thing back together and see if she runs, and then we'll start working on the turbo part of it. All right, we got the cylinder on, piston on. You can see this one's marked with an IN, in, so that means intake. So the piston has to be on that side. Um, but yeah, these are gonna be torqued down to 33 foot pounds, the four bolts right here. So the head gasket right here is the one that blew up. We've got a brand new one for it. So hopefully this one lasts a little bit longer than the other one. Let's get that put on. This thing is like one triple layered. So that should be pretty strong, I would think. You could hope. Just gonna clean that up so we get a nice tight seal. But uh, looking pretty good otherwise. Honda 400 EXs are so easy to rebuild compared to liquid cooled quads like, um, let's say for example, a YFZ 450. It's so much easier for some reason, I don't know why. All right, we got the cam chain guided now. I had to go underneath the gasket. I always forget the cam chain guide. All right, let's see if we can get this on. All right, these four bolts get torqued down to 33 foot-pounds. Crisscross pattern. All 
All right, so the intake valves are 0 0.004 inches and the exhaust valves are 0 0.005 inches. We set those, those are perfect. Everything is good to go. We got the spark plug in, we just have to get the pipe on and then we can attempt to start this thing up. We got the carburetor over here. If you guys remember last video, we found out that the needle was like super bent. So we got a rebuild kit right here. We are going to put a new needle in it and then uh, we can install the carburetor. See if these are the same. Yep, they look like it. Alright, let's see if I can get this back in. Alright, that slid right in. Now I just have to get this thing lined up. All right, we got this thing back together. We've got the pipe on it. We don't have the uh, turbo hooked up right now. We just want to see if this thing runs the way it is um, without the turbo. So we've got gas going to it. We've got oil going to it. So let's see if it uh, works here. All right, so that starts up. That's good. All right, so now we can start working on the turbo part of it. So we gotta redesign this thing and uh, hopefully it'll turn out better than the last time. But we're gonna strip everything off the turbo and start brand new. But uh, good thing this thing runs again after honing that thing out, so. All right, time to begin the hard part. All right, little update, went to the hardware store and got some new piping for this thing. And uh, we got the turbo refitted on here. So we've got the original pipe we still had going into here, but instead of going straight into it, it does a 90 degree bend right here and goes straight down. And now the oil intake is going straight down. So a lot of people in the comments said that that's the way it's supposed to be. And then the oil line going out is straight gravity fed. So hopefully oil doesn't back up and ruin the seals and the turbo. Everything is uh, pretty airtight right now. I got these attachments and everything is welded up and good to go. Then we got this like 45 degree bend right here that goes into the carburetor. So it's just one long pipe going in. So there shouldn't be any air leaks in the system. We got our new fuel pump hooked up. This thing is rated for like one to nine or 10 PSI. Um, so that's hooked up from the gas tank going in to the fuel pump and then the fuel pump goes to the fuel regulator. So this thing is new, this is a fuel regulator. Um, basically it works off a of boost. So there's a boost line, for instance to boost, goes up to here, cuts away, goes one goes to the carburetor for the float bowl, then one goes to the line down here 
for the wastegate. You can see it goes into there. And that connects to the wastegate, so that's reference to boost. Um, this line was an intake. Um, I just closed that off. And then this line is the um, outline. And so gas just flows into the carburetor. And right now, when you turn on the pump, you can see gas leaks out of the carburetor. Right there. So I'm not sure if there's too much pressure or what's going on. But um, that is definitely not good. I don't know if the float is not strong enough to hold the pressure. Um, the old pump I think was rated for, it was, it was pretty low. But um, yeah, this pump, I guess, is a little bit stronger. So I tried to back this thing out all the way and it didn't make a difference with pressure, so. Hopefully. Yeah, it's still leaking. Hmm. Well, we're gonna try to start it up here quick and see if the turbo works on it. Um, and see if the setup is airtight before we go any further. We gotta get oil to the turbo as well, so what we're gonna do is Turn this to on, take off the spark plug cap in here, just so that it can't start up here. And then we're going to pump it a couple times, see if oil gets in here. Hopefully, oil's getting to it. It looked like it was going down the line. We obviously need a uh, stronger battery, but yeah, that line filled up, so it's definitely getting oil to the turbo. All right, well, let's hook everything up and see what happens. Maybe that fuel won't leak once it's running. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm not gonna keep it running for very long. Just wanna test it out. Turbo was getting oil, I think it was. Yeah, it's definitely getting oil. Hopefully it's not wrecked in there. Still feels okay. But uh, it looked like it was still leaking out of the carburetor. But uh, it was idling and seemed like it was running pretty good. Let me get the carburetor off and we're gonna play with that a little bit. Um, probably up the jets just a tad. I also have to seal off one of these holes in here. But um, we ended up taking off the power jet right here. I don't like that setup, so maybe in the future I'll add it back in, but right now um, it's not really working too well. So. Right, a couple things that we already did to the carburetor. We blocked off the um, access port right there. There's a hose going into there, and it's coming down to here. As you can see, there's a line right here. Then I uh, I reference this to boost. So that's blocked off, that's reference to boost, and then it pushes into the float bowl down here. And uh, we'll show you guys that. But we are going to change out the jetting on this thing. I think we're gonna go with the 200. 200 main. Somewhere in that area. Because we do not want to blow it up again. And I'll quick show you guys this too. So there's a line right here on the top of the carburetor going into here. This one 
I use for the boost gauge because there's a vacuum. So uh, because it's before the carburetor going into the engine, there's going to be a vacuum and that's the very correct boost. That's why I reference the boost gauge to this line right here. And I'm not sure where that one leads to. It looks like it goes to inside where the slide is for some reason. So it must push fuel and keep that float down. That's why uh, that's uh, pouring gas out because the fuel is being pushed down. The float's staying down and it can never come back up. But when it's running, it's fine because I think it's using all the fuel. So let's turn this one out a little bit as well. So this one's so the fuel screw. Let's turn out three. One. Two. There's three. Right now we're running a 155 for the main. We're going to change that to a 200. Stick that puppy in there. You can see 198 on there. So we'll stick that in for the main. And we'll see how that works. All right, everything is set back up on the carburetor. So let's just try this out now. We've got 198 main in there now, and then the passages are blocked off. So you guys can get a view of the turbo, I guess. running worse now so I wonder if the jets too big <laughs> all right I forgot to plug off the drain bolt for the carburetor so that needs to be referenced to boost as well so I just did that it's down here that line's going to boost now so hopefully that helps um, air was just pushing out of the carburetor Alright, that runs a lot better. So that's uh, actually revving out now. You can see this was flexing. We're going to have to make something for this so it doesn't flex so much. But uh, that was running pretty good. Start it up one more time. It's a little better, still pretty boggy. All right, 
right, so I had to add this oil pump because the gravity was going uphill and uh, it was pooling like right there. So I had to add that to get it into the top of the oil canister right there. You can't go to the bottom because the gravity of the oil going to the bottom would prevent oil from going up through the bottom. So um, this is kind of how that pump works. Can I show you? I just have it manually hooked up here. You can see it's pumping oil out. And uh, there's not any oil for it to pump right now, but you can see just the remnants of it coming through. But it definitely helps out. And then you just take that off. So it'll be running the whole time the quad is running. But let me go quick test her out in the road here just to see what it can do. All right, just took it for the test drive down the road and uh, basically it does not work that great. Um, it sounds like it's about to hit boost and then it just like gives out. So kind of like what it was doing before when we had this set up. So I don't know, it's like right about to hit five and then it just like goes down. It's like and then it comes right back down. So I don't know if we're not getting enough fuel or what's going on, but uh, it's obviously not working too great. <laughs> it gets a lot worse with the power jet. So I'm thinking it's getting too much fuel in the carburetor. So let's try to lower that main jet a bit and see if that helps out. All right, we're gonna change up this jet. And we're gonna try to put in a I think we're gonna go with a 165. See what that does for us first. All right. All right, we're gonna put in a 170. Decided. All right, we got the 70 jet in there. Let's see what happens now. So uh, zero change, we changed the main jet, so um, yeah, I don't really know what to do from here. I think we finally got it to uh, string out all the way. So what I did was take off the boost line to the carburetor bowl and now gas drains if it has to. So um, that was what was causing the backup. So I think it was flooding it out and pushing gas up through the lines. Um, so now it, I think it's gonna work. Let's uh, go test real quick. So we're gonna give this one last attempt. We're gonna go to my parents and uh, go test drive this thing. I'll bring all my jets and all my tools and uh, we'll see if we can get it running properly. It's kind of hard to test it on the street over here um, when you're really not supposed to be riding it on the street and it's super loud. So I'm sure the neighbors love that. Um, but yeah, we'll test her out and uh, see what happens. I think the oil pump is really helping it. 
uh, clear out all that oil from the turbo because it's definitely not smoking as much as it used to. All right, made her out here to test this thing out for the first time since uh, being uh, rebuilt and uh, with the new turbo set up on it. So we'll see how this thing does today. We left the exhaust off just so that uh, we don't have any restrictions or anything. So we'll see if this thing works. We've got the oil pump and the fuel pump now. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Let's see what this thing can do. So first real test drive on this thing. Let's see what happens here. All right, turn it to on. Let's get the uh, oil pump going here. That's going. Get the fuel pump going. Still surging quite a bit. Woo. It's not liking that. See, it just, uh, it wants to go, but right when it hits that boost, it, uh, cuts out. We're gonna try turning the gas off. I feel like it's flooding out or something. See, it revs out like that. I don't get it. But under load, it doesn't. Wants to go. Ah, I don't know. My back brake sucks too. What's up with that? It's idling good. oil pump stopped working that came off so maybe that's why uh, it was backing up a little bit that means no oil was coming out <laughs> 
We need oil to be pumping through. There we go. Let's see if that's a little bit better now. Let that work a little bit. Yeah, it's like, it wants to go, it's so close, but yet, like I said, so far. <laughs> everything's holding up back here, making sure everything's still on. Yeah, everything looks good. Yeah, you can see the oil pooling up right there. So that maybe came off right when I was riding it. Does it want to go? Oh man, it it'll shoot out. Oh, it's just dying on me. That ride didn't go as planned. Um, you can see it wants to spool out, but it's just right when you hit that boost. It's like right when it hits five, it just cuts out and uh, won't go past that. It seems like acceleration would be really good and then it just dies. So we tried pretty much every single jet possible in that thing and it doesn't make a difference. So. Yeah, it's, it's not good. It's not good at all. I'm trying to think of different things we can try, but I'm pretty much out of options here. Everything is hooked up to the carburetor correctly. So, I don't know. There's really not much more we can, we can do with this thing, and I think I think we're going to call it quits on this thing. Um, I've spent hours and hours and hours and hours trying to make this thing work. And um, I think I spent like probably over 500 bucks trying to get this thing to work right. And nothing is working. So, I don't know. I think it's just not meant to be. And I think you got to know when to uh, give up on something. And unfortunately, I think we're going to have to give up on this thing. It's just not running right. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what, but I've tried pretty much everything. And that fuel regulator didn't really work out too well either. Didn't make a difference. I had that thing on there and rode down the road, didn't make a difference. So it's not that. And then the piping's all correct. No leaking out of the piping and still doesn't make a difference. Carburetor's all set up, reference to boost, pressurized, doesn't make a difference. Still runs like crap. Uh, we tried the power jet, that doesn't make a difference. It adds more fuel and it just dies right out. You can see right here, and that's adjustable as well. So, um, yeah, doesn't make a difference. So, I think we are calling it quits there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little series on this thing. If you guys want to attempt to build one of these, um, let me know. And uh, if you guys somehow get it done correctly, um, I will future that in my video and uh, I'll give you a big shout out because I tried and I just couldn't do it. So if someone wants to take on the challenge and do a turbocharged 400EX, let me know and uh, post the video 
and I'll post it on my channel as well uh, so you guys can get some recognition for it because whoever can make one that runs right is uh, pretty talented. Unfortunately, we are ending it there. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next video. And until next time, we are...